everybody else basic You live life on an everyday basis With poetic justice Poetic justice Um I am sick I got a cold Um Yeah I know I look sick, I look crazy I don't care right now And You know what sucks about being sick It's not even having the cold It's Everything tasting like booger and snot because, you know, your nasal is dripping, you're congested, so all that congestion coming down, all that, ugh, no matter what I eat, it tastes gross. I've just been eating um, just ramen because I'm like, why waste my time trying to eat anything else? It's just going to taste gross and piss me off. And then, you know what's worse than being sick? It's being sick and then being on your menstrual cycle. Like, Mother Nature decided out of all days to come today. Like, why? why? So now I'm dealing with both of that. I'm just, yeah, I'll catch y'all in a few days. I just got my... So here's what we got from the Amazon grocery delivery. First, we're starting off with some blueberries. These look really good and delicious and fresh. They cost $3.59. Then we've got a fruit bowl for $4.29. We've got this Simply Lemonade for $3.39. Never tried it before, so I'm excited for that. Our dark chocolate, 70% for $3.39. Some regular eggs for $3.29. And then I'm excited for this. I've never had garlic and herb butter before for $2.99. So I'm excited to taste that out. It looks like it would be delicious. I read the reviews and everyone was saying how wonderful it is. So I'm excited to try that later on. Okay. And then we're going to do some garlic hummus for $2.49. Amazon brand. Not sure. So usually I do the other yogurt. This one is a probiotic yogurt for $6.79. Usually I do the so delicious. So I'm excited to try this out see what it tastes like it's supposed to be healthier and better for you so hopefully it tastes as good as well and then we got some everything bagel my favorite brand is anything with everything seasoning on it and then i'm gonna try it with that garlic butter and the bagel costs four dollars and 99 cents we've got this amazon brand chocolate chip cookies for two dollars and 69 cents we've got these blue corn tortilla chips for two dollars and 99 cents i've had these before they taste really good wow this bag is really full look at that usually it's like that much actually maybe sometimes less than that but you know got some regular honey for four dollars 19 cents and then we've got some minced garlic for two dollars 59 cents and regular olive oil so we'll see and then we've got some onion of course because you always need one y'all so feeling just a tad bit better oh my goodness this door won't won't stay put but um feeling a tad bit better and i'm in need of supplies so i'm gonna head to marshall's today i'm gonna take you with me i need um Please excuse my my voice is still you know but I need um, all the essentials I need underwear I need socks I need my skincare lotion moisturizer all of that etc I'm so exhausted like I have no energy but I gotta go out and get what I need to get um, and then I'm gonna try my best not to get too crazy in Marshalls because I don't want to spend a lot of money. So I'm gonna walk around and see what they have and take you with me. But I wanted to show you this like mascara that I bought from e.l.f. It's called Lash and Roll. It works so good. Like look at how good. Can you see my lashes? You see that? Let me see if I can do it this way so you can see how good it is. Like, look at that. <gasps> Did I break it? No, it's just flexible. Okay. Oh my goodness. But this is what this looks like. 
I don't have much on. I just don't want to look like I'm sick and dead. Okay, y'all. I feel like you could see it better from this angle. Let me tilt my eyes so you can see. You see? See how long? Especially on this one right here. Look at that. That is giving... I don't know why this eye won't focus. But, yeah. It's giving, um length it just needs i feel like this is a good one to give me length but i would have to buy um a different one to give you to give more like volume but i'm wearing same dresses the other day why do i have a closet full of clothes and then a clothing rack full of clothes and i keep wearing the same thing i i don't know on which is my um it's like my kimono varsity jacket because it's warm and cold outside like it's in the 70s but it's not like hot 70s it's that 70 degrees which is kind of breezy so you might end up freezing your butt off just a little bit but let me let me see if I can give you a better look at the coat, at the jacket. You see? Right? It's cute. I love it. It's a vibe. And then it's like wide on both arms. And then it goes all the way down to my feet. So, yeah, that's the vibe today. I'm going to go to the Marshalls on... Um, 6th Avenue because everyone's been saying well not everyone I did my research and it showed that that's the best uh, location that it's bigger and they have a big skincare section because like I said I want to get all my skincare all my like moisturizer and all that I also want to get um, body spray all the little essentials I want to see what they have to offer and then I want to see the price point if it's worth it I'm gonna try my best to not look at the clothes and shoes and home decor and all that because I don't want to spend all my money today so I just paid rent so I'm gonna get what I can get and then I'm gonna be out but if I do love the location if it looks big enough then I'll go back next time for like decor clothing and all that but yeah sorry guys I know my voice sounds so sick and whatever and weird but <laughs> at least i'm getting better so i'll catch you at the shop Alright y'all, now we inside. I uh, was thinking about getting some towels, but I'm not sure about these because the colors weren't really re pretty and they didn't feel as soft and luxurious as I thought it would be. I'm not sure how much they are because this one's not showing the price. I mean, the color is not too bad, but it's not the best. And then these ones were okay as well. That one up there says $12.99, so I'm not really sure what the rest is. And then it's just muted, y'all. I was just not feeling the towels. And then we've got some toilet brushes and then this one right here that one that would probably get on my nerves honestly oh someone peeled the pricing on it so not sure oh my goodness i came across these these are so cute i have no business being here on this side but it's going for 29.99 these lamps are so adorable i gotta come back for them and they have them in white as well and then it's this beautiful pattern underneath as well oh my goodness so pretty i gotta walk away from here okay guys the halloween decor is everywhere so we've got this hand soap that is hilarious and this one is going for four dollars and 99 cents oh that's a big container for that much for that little bit of price not bad at all and then we have this dispenser that's super cute for six dollars and 99 cents it's like a little pumpkin adorbs i mean this section is a bit too much like we're only in september y'all and then we've got this scrub for five dollars and 99 cent 
I don't know how I would feel about the smell of this, but I'm sure it exfoliates your body really nicely. Okay, and that's what it's looking like, the rest of the display. Okay, now onto the perfume and body spray. I really wanted to test them out, but there's a lot and I felt like my, my nose would just be burning. This one right here is super cute. It looks like it would be super potent. I'm not sure how much it is. There's just so many options. I don't know where to choose. I'm over body spray. This one right here is going for $6.99. I'm not sure what it smells like. This one right here is also $6.99. It's making me think of like Victoria's Secret. I don't know. The scent was a little too floral for me. And then, ooh, this one looks really nice. More like up my alley. Okay, I tried spraying it, but it's like okay. It's not too bad for $6.99. And then this one right here was $5.99 that one was okay as well and then we've got this one is floral so i'm not even gonna try because i don't really like floral scents but the bottle is cute and it's 5.99 as well and then we're on to skincare look at this hello kitty mask these sheets are so cute this one's for five dollars and 99 cent super adorable um let's see what else what they have up here okay then you've got this eye mask i definitely need eye mask because my eyes need help for three dollars and 99 cents okay so maybe i'm not sure i'm still like debating what to get we got this one right here as well for three dollars and 99 cents okay looks promising we've got this one. well this one looks like a bigger package and then we've got this like face scrubber situations happening here we've got this one over here for 3.99 I mean, there were so many options. I was getting a little dizzy. I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's how you fit it on your hands. Okay, got it. All right. So that makes it easier to wash your face with because I got these claws and you got this. Oh my goodness. This one's ginormous. I would not want to get this for $7.99. But it looked like it would get the work done. Okay. Okay, and then we got this version over here. It looks more like a cloth version for $4.99. It looks like it will be a little more gentle on your face. Super cute. I love the colors. Okay, and then we've got this face mask right here. I guess you could call it sleeping mask. Um, I think you put it in the freezer and it has a cloth in the back to help kind of soothe and depuff, I guess, while you sleep. And then we've got this brush and a blender combination for five dollars and 99 cents i mean it was super cute super compact as well so if you need to travel with guys look at this <laughs> spongebob and patrick beauty blenders i can't these are so adorable look you see their face in there they're so cute and then they had other options all around as well look at all these cute kawaii ones anyway and then we've got these um nude palette uh this one's going for four dollars and 99 cents i'm not really good with makeup so i'm not even gonna try it we've got this one right here stargaze for five dollars 99 cents those pigments are really really pretty oh my goodness so cute and it's really affordable so can't beat that we've got these right here the passion fruit i mean it's super adorable um i don't know where the price went somebody peeled it off so can't really tell you how much it costs but that's what the palette would look like right there on the top Okay, that looks like a fun deal. And then we've got these right here for $6.99. You gotta know what you're doing to use that, okay? And then over here, we've got like the scrub selection. Okay, there's like a million things. We've got this one right here, Fall Vibes. Wow, this thing is heavy. I picked it up like thinking I can with one hand, but I couldn't. It's $5.99. Like this thing is heavy. It's dense. You're getting a lot in there. Let's see what it looks like inside. Okay. That's not bad. And then we've got this one right here for $5.99. Okay, that's the same price. That container should be bigger than if anything. We've got this Barbie here collection. Super cute for $4.99. I mean, the scrubs are like endless on this table, on this display. We've got this right here for $5.99. Hey boo, Halloween version. Super cute. Love that. Okay. And then basically everything here that i'm showing you next is between like five to seven dollars basically it's all the same price points okay now we're heading on to the lotion and body wash section but first look at this dispenser isn't it so cute it's like a cow for 4.99 adorable okay so i see this honey lotion 
super big container i'm loving that everything i'm grabbing is a lot of products this one's going for six dollars and 99 cents so that would definitely last me a long time if i were to purchase that and then we have this one right here which is coconut and shea butter that one's a big container as well like these are gonna last me a very long time for five dollars and 99 cents i mean that's not bad I'm, I'm not sure which one to grab and then we've got this coconut one for five dollars and 99 cents i mean at this point i'm about to take all three because i can't choose and then we got this goat milk uh body um lotion for five dollars and 99 cents as well and then we've got this one right here goat milk and honey lotion that's a big container for six dollars and 99 cents you know what i think i'm gonna switch this out i think i'm gonna take this one put it in my cart and then i'm gonna grab the other one and place it back because even though it's nice and it looks like it might do the job i'm getting a little extra for a dollar extra i'm getting a bigger container so i'm gonna take that and then we've got this mint stress relief um body wash for six dollars and 99 cents and then we've got this one for seven dollars and 99 cents mm, i'm not too sure about these two i'm gonna decide and then guys it's like endless it there's something everywhere and then oh my goodness look at these these are so cute you know that i love skulls if you know me you know i love skulls but the holographic on top these are like brush holders and they feel super dense and heavy like good quality material for 5.99 mm, maybe i might have to take this with me okay so we've got some more skincare on this side and i got excited when i saw mario badesco these are like their facial sprays usually that one it says 20 dollars. Mm, that looks a little steep this one's 12 dollars um, you get five mini ones. Oh, it's on sale for $8.99. That's actually not bad. You get five miniature ones that you could travel with. I mean, that's that's a steal. So you get a lot in there. And then this one, it's actually not $20 on sale for $14.99. And that one you get like a regular size for that cheaper price. But you know what? I'm liking this price better. So we're going to take that with us. Okay, and anything to help my eyes, I definitely need. So the, this eye cream was looking really pretty. I just wasn't sure. There's also this one with hyaluronic acid. I'm not sure which one to get. They're both $5.99, so I'm not sure where to grab. And then you got this vitamin C serum. Mm, maybe. And then you've got this moisturizer, night and day. Okay, I think I might take a chance with that one. Let's see what else we got. We've got this foot balm. I've never tried that before, so that's going to be interesting. Let's see what that's all about, okay? All right, so then we've got this collagen skin and body lotion for $5.99. And then we've got this vitamin C one as well for $5.99. I'm not sure which one to get or if I should get both, so we're going to see. Guys, look at how pretty these are. Look at this collection of brushes with skulls and whatnot. My goodness, the underwear section was driving me crazy, so I'm gonna skip it, okay? I found a pair of socks for $6.99, and then we're gonna head to TJ Maxx and see what they have to offer. As soon as I walked in, my eyes went straight to the bag. I have absolutely no business being here, but everything looked really cute. Oh my goodness, look what I found. Look at this beauty, this like tiger striped. This bag is so cute for $39.99, I mean, that is a beautiful bag and a decent price. So if you're into that, this would definitely be a vibe for you. Okay, so they definitely got some of the similar things that Marshall have. So the scrubs and, you know, facials and whatnot. Look at these slippers, smiley face, so cute and these are $12.99 that's a decent price they're adorbs okay this right here i've never heard of this or even tried it but it's basically like toothpaste um little balls mint i guess whatever that you bite into and you brush your teeth on the go for $5.99 yeah i'm not sure about that but that's a little crazy all right then you've got this body wash and it's rice no rose and lychee and it's like little bubble pieces for $6.99 um 
mm, not sure how to feel about it. I mean, it looked cute, it probably smelled good. And then when you've got this one right here, which is like a sea salt one for $9.99. I feel like this one's more for like an exfoliant. And then you've got this one right here, which is pomegranate and collagen one. Um, that one looked a lot better than the other two and it looked like it would really cleanse my body. So yeah, maybe I'll take a chance with that one. Let's see what that does. Okay, so we're gonna place that in there and then see. And then we got some makeup wipes because you can never have enough of these and you've got a pack of four. So I'm definitely gonna take that. All right, this 24 karat gold um, anti-aging like serum okay for $6.99 wasn't sure so sure about that one and then this one is a pearl serum with hyaluronic acid for $6.99 as well I mean it looks cute but does it do the work that's the question it's got to be more than just you know looking pretty so I wasn't sure so I might have to skip that this round okay guys look at this bag so cute for six dollars and 99 cents it's adorable and you got the one next to it as well for the same price for six dollars and 99 cents like i love that all right and then the perfume section was so annoying over here in the body spray because they literally locked everything up so how am i supposed to spray and know like what it smells like Maybe people are just coming by and spraying their clothes and going home. Maybe that's why they locked it up. But unfortunately, I couldn't buy any. I couldn't smell it. So, you know, and then I came across this bag. Super adorable on my way out for $29.99. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no wonder. Steve Madden. Makes sense. But yeah, this bag is absolutely adorable. We're gonna skip the underwear and bras because it's just horrible selection on both stores and this one has padding on it and I don't need it, so yeah. Before I even do my haul, let me do my thumbnail because I've been sucking at doing thumbnails. I've been struggling with it. So let me do one real quick. Or maybe this way. How is it that people are finding ways to make it look so cute and I'd be looking crazy? Maybe I need to do one of these. Guys. Okay, that's it, I give up. I had to grab myself something to drink because I'm thirsty and everything still tastes like snot. So I was unable to eat breakfast. Honestly, I didn't have the appetite for it. That lemonade um, drink, I'll never buy it again. It's so effing sweet. I'm used to um, buying my own lemon and making my own lemonade. Like, I just, yeah. So I put half water and half of that lemonade because it's the only thing that tastes like something. So. But yeah, let's start. Okay, so. I purchased a total of 16 items um, for Marshalls, it came out to $80.68 and then from TJ Maxx I only bought, purchased the two items that um, that you saw that I grabbed and that was $13.04 for a total of, hold on because I use a calculator, <laughs> $93.72. So not bad. I'm going to start off with um, what I purchased at TJ Maxx because those are only two items so the first thing I got was this intensive um, eye it's a cucumber makeup cleansing wipes with vitamin A C and E it's not flushable but there's 30 wet wipes in each of these packages y'all these were a package of four 
for only four dollars and 99 cents that is such a steal i usually use my um neutrogena cleansing wipes and that works really well for me because i have sensitive skin so not a lot of things work for me but this is so much more um affordable and the whole point of shopping at marshall's for beauty supplies is i'm trying to um find more alternative supplies methods and ways so i can save more money and then the things that I know I definitely can't risk buying cheaper products then I'll go to Sephora and wherever else that I can and get the actual item itself but if I can save money here and there and budget it where I'm not spending too much I'm gonna do that so yeah this was the first item I can't wait for my voice to come back so, okay and then I usually use Castile soap or like Dr. Bronner's. I use the native um, body wash. I don't really like it much, so I'm not gonna purchase anymore. Honestly, I really wanted to like their products, but I don't like their deodorant either because it makes me stinky. So um, because of the, the the Dr. Bronner's and the Castile soap is so strong, it's such a strong body wash it literally strips you of everything dirt oils everything that you have like you do a deep wash with it but it leaves you so dry so i need a separate body wash for the end so i start off with that and then i finish off with a different body um wash or soap or whatever it is to cleanse my body with so i decided to give what is this called i don't know how to pronounce it and I don't want to sound dumb, so I'm not going to say the name of it. But it has pomegranate and collagen. Um, it says gel douche, rejuvenating and hydrating formula, free of sulfates, parabens, and gluten for all skin types. Okay? And it was only $6.99. So I'm excited to try this. Look at that. And the container is pretty. Let me see if it smells like anything. That's what, if I can even smell, is my nose even, even working? Like, oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. I've been so sick and hungry. I want to eat that. Oh, that smells, even outside the bottle, but you get a lot. Okay. I'm excited to try this out. So put that aside. So that's what I got from TJ Maxx. I didn't get much. Honestly, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they seemed like the exact same store. It's just one was downstairs, one was upstairs. The price points were even very similar. When I went into the beauty section, everything looked the same. The scrubs, I I, I don't know. I feel like it's the same company. Um, okay, so Marshalls. I got myself some socks because I like to wear a lot of white socks. If it's not white socks, I'll do like pastel or light tones i don't really like wearing black or dark socks i don't know why but yeah and because of that my white always changes color it becomes dingy and i have to switch it out often this was for six dollars and 99 cents and it says french connection and it's how many pairs are in here 10 pack a shoe size from four to ten U US um, size yeah so that's a lot for only like six dollars and change that's a lot so definitely needed that I definitely needed some eye patch because these raccoon eyes like I got makeup on today so I look decent <laughs> but these raccoon eyes be making me look crazy lately I've been getting really dark circles because of insomnia and other combinations but also like um my skin is getting a little looser so i want to work on that so i bought this rose and collagen hydrating under eye pads helps with repair um, puffiness wrinkles dark circles this one has five in it from this company so i'm looking forward to using that and then i bought a bunch of y'all because i need help and then this one has hyaluronic and, oh my god, I don't know how to say that. 
I'm gonna let you read it after. Under iPads, Ultra Repair Formula, Hydrates, Replenishes, and it says Anti-Aging. Minimizes the appearance of fine lines, rejuvenates skin. This one's made in Korea. Where's this one made in? Oh, they're both made in Korea. I love Korean products. They know what they're doing. They're really good. Okay, this one's five in there as well. And that's what it's looking like. That's the package. Okay, and then this one is 24 karat gold and black pearl under eye pads. Luxury firming treatment. Helps repair wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness. Basically does the same thing. Okay, and then that's that. And oh my goodness, I didn't tell you the price of any of them. Lord Jesus. They're all $3.99. Each one of them is $3.99. Okay, and then this one was a steal. So this one you have 12 packs in here. And it's hydrogel eye mask. Um, helps to reduce puffiness and dark circles with aloe vera and caffeine. I heard caffeine is really good for under your eyes, um, either in coffee itself or um, tea. So I'm excited to try that. And it has collagen and peptides. So this one, yeah, and this one was, how much was it? $4.99. This one was a steal, so I had to get that to see, you know. I'm going to try them throughout the month and see if it shows a difference. And then this one, he is one of my favorite, um like beauty brands it's more like well it's more skincare it's not really beauty brands but mario badesco and this was originally a 12 dollar pack but it was on sale for 8.99 and it's this uh facial spray this has one with aloe vera herbs and rose water one with aloe cucumber green tea the other one is aloe, chamomile, and lavender. One with aloe, sage, and orange blossom. One with aloe. Why can't... What's wrong with me? I can't, I can't pronounce anything. Um, and coconut water. These are like the mini travel size ones. So I love these. I always purchase the big bottle. But I've been saying that I need to make collection of miniature things for a purse because I need to buy a new um, everyday bag. And I love that it came with its own pouch because this is going to be very resourceful because now I can use this for other items as well. Like I could put this in it, but then I can add other things and put it in my bag. And look, it, it has a cute little handle. You can grab and go. I love this. Let me open it so you can actually see inside what it looks like. So you can get the size. That's a really good deal for five. Right? These are the size. Okay. So you can see what color they look like. I have used these in the past. I do have experience with them and they're amazing. I love his products. If you're someone who's, um, I haven't tried because I don't really have acne, but I know a lot of people who suffer with acne have tried his skincare products and it works wonderful. So give it a try, but yeah, I'm excited to, to start using these. <coughs> Ooh. Guys, I'll have more energy in the next video because I won't be sick. Okay, and then I bought um, face cleaning, cleansing pads, natural loofah, and it's 20 face pads. And when you um, wet it, it basically expands, and it was only $4.99. So it says, care instruction, soak loofah pad in lukewarm water before first use. Store it in dry place. It's 100% loofah, so I'm excited to try these. They came like this in a pack, right? So there's 10 here and 10 there, so you have 20 pieces. And you can reuse them a few times to do your um, facial cleanse because, you know, using just your hand is not enough. You're not getting into your pores enough. 
so I'm excited to try that and then I needed um, lotion because I bought I have the Nivea one that I bought last time in Target and that one's okay on a day that I feel super dry and I want really thick lotion but on on most days I just want just like regular simple lotion that's not gonna stay on my skin too thick but actually hydrates and is good so this one is um, goat milk and honey a replenish and soothe hand and body lotion for all skin types vanilla honey okay and it goes for six dollars and 99 cents I'm trying to see it says Ray Lil's shop. Ray, no. Wow. That was horrible. Ray's little. Ray's Lil shop. I need to sleep and get better. Because this is, this is crazy. This is what it looks like. That's a big old bottle. That's a huge container for $6.99. Like, this lotion is going to last me forever. I need a break. <sighs> and then I found this, um heel balm i've never used a heel balm before this is new for me but it's lavender and spearmint it has vitamin e and shea butter a soothing and moisturizing balm that helps to repair dry heels so i don't really have dry heels but i still want to use this and what's the company called i don't know if that's oh cyril cyril it's $3.99. I'm not sure how you say it, but um, that's the company's name right there. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is what it looks like. Let me see. Oh, you open it. It's almost like a deodorant. You open it, and I guess you push it up and then put it on your heel after you, you know, take a shower and scrub your feet. So I'm excited to try this. Actually, I want to see what it, what it smells like. Does this smell like anything good? I don't smell anything. Okay. Now, facial stuff. So, I found an eye serum because, like I said, I do struggle with dark circles. And I've been getting um, puffy eyes and all that extraness lately. It's been intense. I've always had puffy eyes, but lately it's been super intense. And... This one is the company Clear Beauty, and this is a glow elixir eye serum with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid and peptides, um, revitalizing, anti-aging, dark circle reducing. Okay, and it says direction. It says um, use twice daily in morning and evening. Gently pat serum into upper and lower eye area, allow to absorb before applying other treatments. This youth in inducing elixir is formulated with super ingredients including amino acids and antioxidants. It absorbs into the delicate eye area to instantly minimize signs of aging and fatigue including wrinkles, dark circles, and crow's feet. Moisturizes and, soothe and smooths skin for a more youthful and glowing appearance. So yeah, and it, goes, it was $5.99. So I'm excited to try it. That's what it looks like there, but I want to I wanna actually open it up and see what it looks like inside. I don't know where my scissor is, so give me a second because I'm going to have to use my keys to open it up so I can see what it looks like inside here. That was a struggle. They packaged it very, very well. I'll say that. It ain't game damage. You know what? Compared to other eye creams and stuff that I've seen in other shops, this is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot to use. And it's really cute. The bottle is tiny and cute. 
Okay, I'm excited for that. And then I found um, a serum. It's a collagen vitamin C brightening face serum. Helps with dark spots, uneven tone, replenish dull skin. So it says, it says apply three to four drops to face and neck area after cleansing and toning. Apply moisturizer after using for daily AM plus PM usage. Okay, it's paraben free, dye free, sulfate free, vegan, gluten free, recyclable. So that's what it looks like. I'm trying to get back on my skincare routine because I've slacked off a lot. Um, oh, she, she thick. Thicker than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a clear um, serum of some sort. But you see it's like milky. And you got a dropper. Like, I'm trying to show you. Like, y'all see that? You see that? It's like a thick, creamy, white. Okay. I'm excited to try that. Um, I hope all of this skincare stuff works for me because if it does, it's going to save me a lot of money monthly. Okay, and then I have, let me see, three items left. Okay, guys. And then I bought um, two different kinds because for... Um, moisturizers because I did try the um oh my god I can't process I did try the is this Sarah Sarah V sir hold on a second Cetaphil that's what I meant I've been trying that for the last few weeks and it's been okay but I don't know if um I don't know if it's the best and I don't want to settle and just choose to use that forever without trying other products because the plan is to find a moisturizer that works amazing for my skin and then I could just stick to that for however long I can if they don't discontinue it okay so the first one is called Elasta Elasta Lift firm plus lift collagen um, concentrated skin rescue with green tea, aloe vera, chamomile, clean and free of parabens, uh, pegs, PEGs. I don't know what that means, but it must be good. Um, from, oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna let you read it because I can't pronounce anything. Dermatologist and allergy tested. S um, smoothing lotion for post-treatment hydrates lifts invisibly firms powerful ingredients um deluxe nourishment sulfate free dyes um talc etc it has a lot of things that i'm gonna let you read it yourself real quick but this is a big container so i'm try i'm excited to try this because it sounds amazing and it was only five dollars and 99 cents so that's not bad i mean the prices the prices for these things feel like a steal and then the other one that i ended up getting are it's a two-in-one package you have one for the daytime and one for the nighttime and hyaluronic and collagen infused right so you have this the Day cream is hydrating, day cream, anti-aging, plumping, replenishing. And then the night cream is deeply moisturizing, wrinkle reducing, and nourishing. And they're made in Korea, so I'm excited for that. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. So I'm excited to try this. I'm definitely going to open it up because I want to see what it looks like. 
but it was only nine dollars and 99 cents so rounded up ten dollars basically okay packaged really well as well okay came in like top and bottom Oh, it's heavy. It's very sturdy. Wow. Something like this at Sephora would have cost like $80, $90, maybe $100 even. You have the daytime facial one. This container is so pretty. And that's a lot. That's a lot in there. And then you have the nighttime. And I'm going to be going back and forth between this one and the other moisturizer to see which one I like best. Okay, it's got its protective lid. Mmm, smells really good. Okay, it's a lot in there. I mean, of course, it tilted to the side after um, being shifted around and whatnot. Let me see, do they both look alike? Oh, this one feels even thicker. Is this the night one? Yeah, the night one feels even thicker than the daytime one mm. like it it smells like natural fragrance it smells like fragrance but like natural fragrance if that makes sense oh these are i'm excited for these they're gonna be really good and lastly i was so excited when i saw this Because if you know me, you know I love my skulls. I'm obsessed. But this is a makeup brush holder. Look at this beauty. She's iridescent clear with like iridescent specks. Dreamy. And it was $5.99. It is heavy. It is heavy. And you got a lot of space. You know, even though it's sculled out, they gave you decent space. Now, I don't have a lot of makeup brushes because honestly, I suck at makeup. I'm still learning. Um, I only know the basics. I know how to make my face look clean and alive so I don't look like I'm walking around dead. That's all I know how to do. I'm on a mission to learn more. Um, I'm more into skincare than anything else but I am on a mission to learn how to beat my face a little better so I'm excited to add this to my collection but yeah y'all that's everything um Marshall's Marshall was really good I would definitely go back a different day and take my time and search a little deeper because it got a little overwhelming it was a bit too many people in there they had a lot of things and I feel like because it was so packed, they probably get new inventory every week or so. So I want to see if they're always going to get the same items or if they, you know, switch it out. I hope you'd like the, the walkthrough and the haul. Okay, guys. Till next time. Bye.